All right, what's up, it's Coiner back again, a video up on the channel, and today we are back with a Dragon Ball Legends video. Yes, back with another scuffed setup video, but at least it is something. We're gonna be using Goku Freeze, just having fun because of the fact that I did actually get their strike level 299. I know, you know, their special boost and their blast boost 999, but at the very least, I boosted the main thing that they do, which is strike damage and all that. Eventually, I will get to boosting up their special boost and maybe even their blast boost, but as of right now, I just mainly care about the strike and you know, at least, you know, that will actually help them out getting them an extra 13,000 to their base strike attack, because yes, it does actually apply to PvP. And we're also going to be using this brand new plot equip that did uh, come out through co-op. So I finally got a good copy of it. It's definitely pretty good. It's giving them, you know, extra base defense, pure defense. We have a Rob Yuna's character, base, you know, strike attack and pure strike attack, special damage and all that. So that's why Jiren's there, so that way we can actually get the Rob Yuna's character for the pure defenses. And then we're just going to throw them on, I guess, more of an LOE team for the extra Zankai buffs to support from Ella Frieza, the blue cards, all that. And, you know, again, the Zankai buffs for Goku and Frieza and all that. So this team should definitely be pretty damn good. In terms of the equipment setup as well, of course, we're also going to give them the Awakened melee type plot equipped for the extra base strike attack and defense and all that right there. Definitely looking pretty good for them. And of course, this other Awakened equipped for some extra base strike attack and some special damage. So overall, equipment setup is definitely looking pretty nice. Arts boost is definitely looking nice. You know, artwork even looking nice and all that. So that being said, well, let's just hop into the matches and just have some fun with LF Goku and Frieza with just all these extra buffs. All right, first match of the video going up against in powerful opponent team with uh, the boy Cooler, actually. It's definitely interesting to see him thank god you know we get the cover change with the boy frieza so i'm just showing that in this case frieza is a superior character unfortunately jiren does come in and he is immune to his paralysis so that was definitely a good play by them of course uh you know again nice little a combo going with frieza and all that just swapping goku and frieza and i mean strike damage stuff is looking pretty damn solid there unfortunately i do swap into a broly and just cover change my blue card because there's definitely one nice aspect of ultra broly which is not a character i really see that often so you know what i will take the fact that he is making an appearance, I guess, in uh, this match right here and all of that. So obviously, it's a nice little combo. Not really doing that much. I know I could have very easily cover change to a Jiren. I just don't know why they didn't cover change to him. But you know what? It kind of works out anyways, just because then he, for some reason, throws the ultimate. But I'd swap in Jiren and it cancel his buffs on cover change. So like, he can't even faint me anymore. Like he lost his ultimate edge, but he lost pretty much almost all of his buffs. So it's like, yeah, at this point. Yeah, well, actually, no, it doesn't cancel his, his faint chance thing. It, he can still potentially get that, but regardless, we got very lucky that they didn't actually get that. Plus, we would have been immune to it anyway, so it, regardless, we're, we're good now, all right? We transform a Jiren versus Cooler. I destroy all his cards, so I just, you know, quick, I just go to attack him in that way. You know, I just know he doesn't have anything. I just keep the combo going. That's straight damage, by the way, the Cooler. I know that Cooler, I, I think it was only like three stars, I think, but regardless, <laughs> Jiren does hit up pretty damn hard. I don't know why I went for the green card counter there, but regardless, I went for for it i stupidly also yeah i don't know why i did that i'm making a lot of stupid plays in this match but regardless yeah yeah anyways they transformed Jira and all of them my commentary so they <laughs> oh my god man i mean heck even if i was doing live commentary right now it would probably be going just like this it doesn't even matter if i do post commentary live commentary at the very least I'm just watching back the match, you guys get to enjoy the match, and at least I don't have the stress of having to play it actually while commenting and all of that, so yeah. Regardless, I do pop the main ability of Jira and get some special cover change notification and just continue the combo. They actually swap in the Broly again, you get special cover change notification, so they, I don't have to worry about his uh, cover changes and all that, and we just obliterate Broly. Now, I swap out of Jiren right after this, as you can see. Mainly just because I thought, because obviously I feel up Broly's gauge, so I assumed that he removed my Vanish. I don't think he did, because I didn't see my Vanish gauge actually get depleted. But in case you were wondering why I swapped that at Jiren, that's why. Simple as that. But regardless, Goku and Frieza are just doing their thing and all that. I love how I'm getting Blast cards with them. Like, it would be nice to actually get Strike cards with them just to see what their Strike damage is looking like. Because <laughs> that's what's, you know, being boosted, you know, with the special boost. And then also, uh, you know, the equipment's actually buffing up Strike Attack and a Blast Attack. But regardless, we had a Strike card there. There we go. Wow, we killed Cooler. Fantastic. And, uh... Flopping the Goku, I guess, because I wanted to get a stop time event, but they ended up tackling when I did it, so it was a bit too late. Just catch him with Frieza uh, cover change. They throw a blue card right there, and they sidestep, catch him the blue card, and GG's, we move on to the next one. Okay, and the next match, funny enough, against another Cooler. So, <laughs> you know what? At least we're seeing him a decent bit, and all. it's always nice to see Cooler. At least when he's not being annoying, he's actually comboing you because, you know, you can definitely be annoying with that strike lock in for sure. Very oppressive indeed, and I guess toxic in that sense. But as long as he's not getting, uh, you know, he's not getting a combo off of me, you know what? I don't mind seeing him. He's not a character I see that often anyway, so I'll take it regardless. Again, this nice combo over Zamazu, get his first life out of the way, frame one and all that. He's basically almost dead, which is lovely to see. And you end up swapping cooler in and that tap attack damage, by the way. <laughs> Even crit. Oh, that's also why they did that engine. Yeah, they're. 
I, I, I get he has blast armor, at the same time, like, I feel like it's very obvious to tell that, like, that strike card was coming at that point. You, you, like, I guess they were just so trigger finger, like, ready, I guess, on that strike card. I don't know. Regardless, clearly the match is almost over, so this match, you can probably tell, you know, not gonna be that long, you know. I mean, who knows? Maybe Zamala just stalls out. Zamala just does end up stalling out. decent guy, I will just say that. But, yeah, uh, obviously Zamala just doing his thing. I'm just keeping Goku and Frieza in the meantime. Just to, you know, I want to see if I can get the LF. Might as well. Might as well have a blue card. Unfortunately, I stupidly do it there. So I don't know why I did that. My, now looking back at it, I should have just very easily just tap attack. You know, just t single tap, you know, bathe their advantage, and then throw the blue card, dodge right after, and then throw the blue card. Regardless, whatever. Match ends here, I just catch another jeer, and, and just, uh, yeah, this match was up to something. And my commentary was also all over the place. So, yeah, let's just move on to the next one. All right, and the next one up against a sudden failure team, but with uh, the boy Kid Boo on it. I, again, Kid Boo's is a very good unit. I guess might as well just throw him on leader slot because it exists. Simple as that. Anyways, we are lucky enough to actually top him out of there so I don't get hit with that. Just throw the blue card. They try a green card. Thank God I got that out. Also, I love how it looks like I got his first life out of there. He just ended up getting his heal. But regardless, I did a lot of damage. We get a nice little perfect advantage with LF first from Frieza. I just, I don't know why I threw the blue card, to be honest. I very easily just could have kept the combo going with Blast and then swapped in Goku and Frieza. I don't know why I did that. Regardless, it doesn't matter because I'm able to catch Pan off guard anyways with these Blast cards and just Obliterator. Like, <laughs> even their Blast damage is pretty damn good. Like, they just stack up so much damage just per card they use and all of the Goku. And then at that point, you get that stacked up damage. You swap in Frieza, who has critical hits and all that, and special coverage notification. Again, with all that extra stacked up damage, it's ridiculous. So we just get rid of Kid Buu. It's like... Kid Buu literally did nothing for him at that point. Like, Goku and Frieza, you know, they're gonna do a little bit here. They throw a blue card frame one. I don't switch. I guess I'm really hungry for that LF. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, it would be nice to get the LF, obviously. You know, I mean, their LF is, is definitely the best looking one in the game. It's the, also the longest one in the game now, I'm pretty sure. But regardless, it just looks nice. Might as well try and get it. But, uh, they're about to die. And, uh, okay, they, yep, they popped the green card. So, <laughs> definitely have to swap out 100%. So, yeah, I think I swap out, yeah, LF first one, Frieza. I don't want Goku and Frieza to die on me, all right? It would have been nice to get the LF, but you know what? It's not worth letting him die, I guess. Simple as that. They do get the Russian Fortune for the first one. Frieza, which is okay. It's cursing a blue and purple Frieza on my screen, but you know what? We guessed him, so have that blue Frieza. You fake. You fake her. Anyways, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, does throw the blue card there. Unfortunately, it does actually miss, and somehow they draw another green card. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for you, Bobby. No, it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make sense. No one can explain it. Regardless, they just got lucky. I guess simple as that. Just pop the transformation here with Jiren. Just destroy their cards. I see they're attacking. They're most likely going to go for a sidestep, which, guess what? They did. And I just catch them the blast. And my gosh, bro. The, bro, this is this video isn't even meant for Jiren. This team actually is pretty solid. Not only for Goku and Frieza, but also Jiren. So, <laughs> Jiren definitely does some pretty good damage. Obviously, I know Goku and Frieza are not tanky, but regardless... Hey, good damage is good damage. That's all I gotta say. Let's hop into the next one. Okay, and the next one up against, I guess, powerful opponent with Goku and Frieza leader slot. Simple as that. So we do have two ultras deals. This will definitely make things a bit interesting. I don't think they're highest starred, but regardless, still can be very powerful if uh, things go correctly for them. Unfortunately, we did not catch them in that size tip earlier. Swap and hit, but thank god they only do one card with them because they did most of their cards with Goku and Frieza, so things just end off with a tap attack. I catch him in the sidestep, get a nice little combo with Jiren, who even to a red <laughs> is doing a lot of damage again. Keep in mind that hit. I think the team was like a little, a, a bit of a mishmash team, but regardless, you know, hey, again, like I said in the last match, damage is damage. I will take it. That damage is still pretty damn good. I saw that the Aussie waited a decent bit last time, so I just went immediately there. Clearly it paid off. At this point, I swap in Goku and Frieza and just. Yeah, they just take a lot of damage, and I'm pretty sure they just end up dying here. Like, again, that was just the first card of Goku. And then the strikes just obliterate them beyond belief and all. So, yeah, they're definitely doing a, a lot of damage on this side. But I will definitely say that. Again, it also, you know, the team setups and stuff like that. Again, like, this team was a, a tiny bit of a mishmash team, perhaps, and all from what I remember. But regardless, you know, stuff some good characters. Again, damage is damage. All I gotta say, I'll definitely take it for sure. Things that I'm not playing well for them to the point that I'm able to catch them with LF First One Frieza and just obliterate their hit out of the way. It also is nice to see that LF First One Frieza is still actually having value still to this day. Like, he's still a decent unit and all. He may not be the craziest damage wise, he's a support type unit at this. But in terms of supporting, he still does his role very well. I, by the way, I swapped him in just because 
I want to see what damage I do to the blue card. The that blue card actually did do some decent damage, and also I was you know, still hungry for the LF, which thank god actually. Catch him right there on the side step because I knew the odds of they would go for the double side step since I did it earlier. And we tie switch to Goku, and we actually do end up getting the LF for the video. So enjoy the best LF in the game while and also the longest, but regardless, it is a very nice LF indie. Doesn't it look nice, Bomb? Let's just enjoy it in the meantime. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, bro. I'm literally watching the anime. We're watching DBS uh, 131. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, again, post commentary, you know, it, it's definitely scuffed. I will be honest, but regardless, that's just for now, in case we all are new around here, you know, these are not normally how the videos go, but I'm just doing this for now since uh, I'm not in the situation to be uh, currently recording, you know, my usual setup and all that, but I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video regardless, leave a like down below if you did, subscribe to the channel if you're new, enjoy the content, want to stick around, and that being said, I will see y'all in the next one, peace out, everyone, y'all.